And the wildfire situation in the province is intensifying after a weekend that saw hundreds of new fire starts. CTV's Craig Krause has more on this and how one small BC community was rushed to evacuate. A lightning strike in the village of Aylmount sent the community scrambling on Saturday as a fire began spreading near the community, leaving the mayor fearing the worst as a local state of emergency was declared. Knowing where the winds typically come from in the in the afternoon, this had um, this had potential. Uh, Craig, I'm, I'm not going to lie, this thing had a lot of potential to hit uh, a lot of the, the fuel loads along the uh, CN Rail corridor. Uh, and make its way into town. But it didn't and is under control. Mayor Owen Torgerson crediting the swift reaction by local firefighters and the BC Wildfire Service for attacking the blaze before damage was done. Aviation uh, resources, uh, I think four helicopters, four skimmers, two bombers, uh, a bird dog. Um, this fire became the number one provincial priority in terms of uh, getting it under control. Crews are given a helping hand by a change in winds and cooler temperatures after a stretch of hot and dry conditions. Environment Canada is predicting a return to seasonal temperatures in most areas of BC with scattered showers later in the week. But the threat of thunderstorms remain. Lingering instability in the interior. Uh, probably the area that will have the best chance tomorrow will be the, the Kootenays and probably less chance through the tops of Okanagan and stretching back up into the Pemberton area and Lillooet area. And then an increasing chance as we move towards the end of the week into the weekend again. And Environment Canada says on Sunday alone, there are 14,000 lightning strikes recorded here in the province of BC. A number that's concerning is the vast majority of the wildfires are caused by strikes. And with crews on the ground across the province trying to suppress these flames, time will tell if the weather will help or make things worse here in BC. Craig Crow, CTV News, Burnaby.